Laguna Blue here. I'm a Monster Exchange student from Down Under, specifically the Great Scarier Reef. I'm having a scary good time playing volleyball, diving and surfing. If there's water involved, I'm a natural. I can even talk to sea creatures. I do have to use a ton of monsterizer on land to keep myself from drying up. I may be a fish out of water, but my cool friends Draculaura, Frankie and Claudine make me feel right at home. Check out some of our fantastic adventures together since I hit dry land. Today's lesson, die section. <gasps> Poor little green bros. Do our hearts not beat the same? Does not the same green blood flow through our veins? <laughs> this is so wrong. Frankie, I need an assist. You got it, Laguna. Always happy to lend a hand. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no worries. We're out, dudes. Oi! Where did everyone go? Class dismissed. Nice save! Where are they? I found a place where they can chill. <laughs> to survive this test, you have to keep your egg babies from breaking for one week. Any cracks, you fail. <laughs> I love eggs. Give it, Flame Boy. First, I'm going to revamp you total makeover. Easiest assignment ever. Deuce, do your thing. Excellent. That'll wear off in a week, right? Yep. Maybe you should switch partners. Why would you say that? Everyone knows sea monsters are bad parents. Not true. That's an old fisherman's tale. Seven days, no cracks, or you fail. He's just been anti-fibian. Well, we'll show him. We'll be the most fantastic parents ever. <laughs> Crack! You fail! Crikey! I don't understand. We did everything right. Where did you get these? Gargoyle nest, top of the library. <laughs> hey, ours is the only one that hatched. I knew we'd make great parents. <laughs> Well, what'd you get on your essay? The teacher said he needed to see my parents to talk about it. What? No. A parent-creature conference? You'll take the mages to swim here. You do not call a parent-creature conference with good news. Really? You must have totally failed. You might have to repeat the class. Crikey, this is terrible. I'm in no hope. Poor thing. I know. What can we do? Oh, hey, I got an idea. All he really needs to see is a family member, right? So, let's give him one. Not me. We're all in that class. He'll recognize us. So who? Okay, Slomo. Remember, you're Laguna's great aunt, Lantic. Yeah, and you have two seahorses named Roger and Blinky, and you live down under. Under. You're Australian, so moan with an accent. Ready? <laughs> Ooh, 
Why is slow mo dressed like a sand groper? Karen Creature Conference, ah? Uh, uh, well, now you don't have to wait to find out how bad it is. What? I know you were trying to help, but if I was failing before, then I'm sure gonna get expelled now. You must be so proud of Laguna. She's my best student. Best essay ever. Didn't see that coming. Oh. You see? Told you it was good news. <laughs> we are monsters! Hi. This necklace is scary gorgeous. <laughs> I know, isn't it great? Claude got it for me. Oh, can I try it on? Okay, just be careful. Oh, oh. oh no, it's in the deep end. I am so sorry. I'll get it back, I promise. No, you don't understand. It's in the deep end. <laughs> it's gone for Hush, what's all this about the deep end? I dropped Draculaura's necklace down there, but but I'm gonna get it back. No one, no one goes in the deep end. Why is everybody acting so weird about the deep end? Uh, the deep end. <laughs> Frankie, the pool at Monster High is the deepest in the world. No one knows what lurks way down under there. Well, I'm going in. I caused this mess and I'm gonna fix it. You don't have to do this. I'll just tell Claude that... that... <laughs> I lost it! No, no, no. I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. I don't get what all the fuss is about. The deep end is kind of nice. Look at this flower. It's not a flower. Swim! <laughs> Wait! He went in here! He's got a whole pile of stuff. Hey, you! Give me that back! Frankie, it's not worth it! Frankie! Ah! Don't you know not to mess with a monster with bolts? Now give me that necklace! Ah! Oh, thank you, thank you! By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. See? Oh, sweet! My T97X4 calculator! Aw. Oh. I thought I'd never see you again, baby. We are monsters! Hi! <laughs> no, no. Perfect. Looking fine. Laguna, prepare for the date of your life. <laughs> uh, oh, um, hey, hey, Mom. Uh, hey, Dad. <laughs> I'm going on a date with Laguna. I know she's a sea creature. I know what they say about them. Laguna isn't like that. She's wonderful. She is different. You always said sea creatures were mean, spiteful monsters. But Laguna's the sweetest, most sensitive ghoul I've ever met. Poor little green bros. Do our hearts not beat the same? Does not the same green blood flow through our veins? You said that sea creatures were disloyal and treacherous, but Laguna is the most faithful, true, protective friend that anybody ever had. I try so hard! That's what's messing you up. Don't drongo. Be natural. Be yourself. And you'll be spot on. Yeah. <laughs> Gulia's really brilliant, huh? <sighs> you are not too dumb for Gulia. Mm. Well, I'm gonna make this right. If you're going, I'm going with you. By working together, we conquered our fears and did the whole school a favor. What? You're still clinging to those worn out old prejudices? You're wrong about this. I'm not going to stop seeing her. So you're both just going to have to deal with that. Whoops. <laughs> um, uh, I forgot something. Okay, uh, bye. I'll be back early. Sorry, I'm late. I miss anything? Nah. I was just about to ask Sirena how excited she was for New Tides Eve. Ooh, what's that? You don't know? But you're a mermaid. Half. 
My mom's a mermaid. My dad's a ghost. My parents try so hard not to push one of their scaritages over the other. Because New Tide's Eve is only the spiffiest mermaid holiday of the year. The fiend ball game is always fun. <laughs> But the party really starts when the dancing begins. That does sound classum. Hmm, you think that's fun? On Minotaurial Day, we do nothing but headbots! I still think New Tide's Eve sounds scary good. It kind of reminds me of Chainsgiving. What's that? After hanging decorations on the Chainsgiving tree, we sit down for a huge, messy feast. No idea I had two such classroom holidays. I can't wait to celebrate them both. You're in luck. Mine's tonight. Crikey, you should celebrate with Laguna tonight. No, I can tell how excited you are to share your holiday with Sirena. You should totally celebrate with Spectra. Sirena's not with you. I, I thought she was with you. Sirena! Sirena! Over here! We've been looking all over the school for you, mate. Why didn't you meet either of us? I was busy working on this. Oh. It's like New Tide's Eve and Chase Giving mixed together. It's a fusion. Just like me. And the best part of it is we can all celebrate it together. <laughs> I can't believe this is my last practice before I leave for Monster Exchange. You're gonna have the best time going to school in Madrid. But I'm going to miss you all so much. Especially Gil. That new ghoul Lorna has got some big flippers to fill while you're gone. Hey Gil, wanna go shopping with me this afternoon? Gil, you promised you would help me with that um, thing. Right, uh, the, the thing. Is that okay? Uh, of course. <laughs> Thanks for understanding, Laguna. Wow, Gil and Lorna are fanging out together, and you're okay with that. Why wouldn't I be? I'd be jealous. Like, major jealous. Like, super major mega big time jealous. Like, <laughs> I get it, Serena. Jealous. Of course I'm jealous. <laughs> Sorry. It's just Gil's parents would love it if he broke up with me and started dating a freshwater ghoul like Lorna. Why don't you ask him? Because that would show him that I don't trust him. But I do. Don't I? Oh, uh, we're gonna follow them, aren't we? Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> may get what they're saying. I don't care that we come from two different worlds. We belong together. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, uh, Laguna. Serena. Gil. Um, Serena. <laughs> what are you doing here? Laguna knows all about what's going on here. Laguna knows about Finn. That's right. What's Finn? Lorna's saltwater boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Finn. Finn's a saltwater merman, and I'm a freshwater lake. Like me and Gil. He was helping you figure out how to talk to your freshwater parents. Yeah, I've been trying to find a way to tell my father. I'm sorry to have stolen Gil away for so long. Psh, hardly noticed. So, what are you doing down here? I, um, wanted to give you... this to remember me by. Oh, Finn. If Gil and Laguna can make it work, I just know that we can too. Let's leave these two alone. Oh, Gil, I wish you could see how beautiful it is here at Don Quixote High. It's all so educational. Oh, I knew you'd love it in Madrid. Yeah, but I sure do miss you. I miss you too, Laguna. But hey, at least I still have this shell to remember you by. Blood 
Osgood said we could have the gloom and bloom dance in the garden. I didn't realize that meant we had to work in the garden. Come on, Cleo. It's not so bad. Look around at how happy the plants are making everyone. Uh, careful, Lorna. That's the rarest plant in the whole garden, the corpse flower. It only blooms once every 1,300 years. And tonight, we'll all get to see it at the Gloom and Bloom dance. Oh, I just wish Laguna were here to see it with me. That's right. She's still in Madrid. Oh, Gil, I know how you feel. I miss my boyfriend back in Rotland. Oh, speak of the devil. I... <laughs> I have to go! Lorna! It's from Lorna's boyfriend. <gasps> He's breaking up with her. How oh, oh, Lorna. Lorna. What do we do? This is no time for a ghoul to sit home and mope. The dance must go on. We're gonna make sure that Lorna has a great time tonight. <laughs> Operation Help Out Our Bestie McNessie is a go. Hey, Lorna, what you need right now is some serious time with your ghoul friends. Um, and your gill friend. I'm not coming out. Quel disaster! Lorna, we're here with the Skultimate Ghoul Friend Emergency Heartbreak Kit. With revitalizing makeup, four years of Monster Beat magazines, and the biggest ice cream sundae we could find on short notice. No, thank you. We're gonna miss the corpse flower blossom. Um, can I try something? Lorna, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> Tonight's the night of the Gloom and Bloom dance, and I figured you could let me take you to the dance. You know, as, as friends. <laughs> You're so sweet, Gil. <laughs> Lagoon is a lucky ghoul. I, I'll go to the dance with you as friends, but I don't have anything to wear. Out of the way, Gil. We've got to work to do. And here's a little move I like to call the Sea Slug Slide. <laughs> Thank you for convincing me to come out tonight. It helps to be here with my friends. And we finally get to see the corpse flower bloom tonight. Oh, yawn! Let me tell you, I've seen one, and trust me, corpse flowers stink. Oh, don't be such a bloom kill, Cleo. Corpse flowers are supposed to be the most beautiful in the world. I just hate that Laguna won't be here to... Jill? <gasps> What's going on here? Guess who's back from Shibuya? <laughs> Toad's awkward. We are monsters! Bye. Gil, how could you? Laguna, I promise it's not what it looks like. Um, it looks like Gil took Lorna McNessie to the Gloom and Bloom dance. Okay, so it is what it looks like. Oh, um, L Laguna, I, I can explain. Don't. I came all the way back from Madrid early so that I could surprise you at the dance. And I come in to find you dancing with another ghoul? I have to go. <laughs> Laguna! The corpse flower, it's starting to bloom after 1,300 years! Let's hope it's nothing like the last corpse flower I saw. That flower reeked. Um, uh, Laguna, I, uh, I only took Lorna to the dance as a, as a friend friend. Her boyfriend broke up with her and, well, she needed somebody to frighten up her day, you know? <laughs> That's very sweet of you. I'm sorry I caused a scene. I just... I had this picture in my head of what tonight would be like. Surprising you, running into your arms. We'd watch the corpse flower finally blossom. <gasps> oh my ghoul! The corpse flower! Gil! We're missing it! I'd rather be right here with you. Oh, Gil. Come on! Here it comes! Love it! There's something inside. Oh! Something or someone. <laughs> it's it's a ghoul. <gasps> That's not just any ghoul. Welcome to Monster High. You're the guest of honor. That's Amanita Nightshade. A party for me? You shouldn't have. Well, I suppose you should have, actually. I'm kind of a big deal. Cleo Denial. 
long time. No see. You know each other? Let's just say Cleo and I go way back. We were two mates ages ago. Literally. It's a long story. Poor Cleo. Still a wallflower, I see. No day to the dance. Actually, this is my boyfriend, Deuce. Hello, Snake Eyes. Uh, hello? Cleo, you won't mind if I borrow him for a dance. You always were so good about sharing your things. Uh, Cleo, I don't know what to do. May I have this dance and every dance from now on? Of course. <laughs> Happy gloom and bloom, Gil. We are monsters! Next! Did she call me? <sighs> I'm sorry, I don't speak zombie. <laughs> Cleo will sign your fear book now. Hey, I just got my fear book. Want to check it out? We look amazing. Maybe later, huh? We gotta cramp for our biteology final. I can recite all the elements in reverse order. Let me hear. Wow, um, I'm really late for that thing over there. Hey, congrats. There's some gnarly shots of you two in the fear book. How great is that? Awesome. Looks like our stars have arrived. I did a whole spread on just you and Gil. Everybody needs to know what a great team you are. And now they will. Signing all those fear books was hard work. The price of fame. Mm. Mr. Rotter, you make dead languages live again. Well, I did learn them in the original. What? At least denied. If you're planning on using those for some sort of graduation prank, I strongly suggest you reconsider. No idea how those got here. You better keep your eye on that fear leading team, Mr. Rotter. This one's me favorite. Gil, which one do you like best? I don't know. They're all terrible. I know. She should have used a fisheye lens. Not that. I need to tell you something. Okay. I never told my parents about us. You lied to me? How could you? You know how they feel about saltwater folk. They threatened to send me to an underwater boarding school if I kept hanging out with you. I had no choice. I'm gonna be late for the big test. Laguna, wait. Pencils down, pass your exams to the front. How did you do? Nailed it like a coffin, sister. <laughs> Rotten gargoyle eggs? Is the fear-leading team planning something I should know about? No, sir! I don't know where these came from. So you say. I think I know how to fix this. You're gonna tell your folks about us? No, I just won't show them the fear book. They don't need to know. Either you agree with them or you don't. And if you don't, then you need to do something about it instead of acting like a frightened dingo. I don't even know who you are anymore. I just need Gil and Laguna, and then I've got everybody's signature. Hey, you dropped this. Wait, this isn't mine. What is it? Recipe for stink bombs. Weird. What happens if I tell them and they send me away? Then I'd lose you forever. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. You can't let their prejudice run your life. Sign my fear book? Oh, uh, sure. This is the first year they're putting a copy online, too. What? Yeah, they're emailing it to everybody's parents. Isn't that cool? I think it is. What do you think, teammate? Oh. Dragon Laura, stealing my heart. Cloudy and Wolfie make me hallow the moon.